Introduction to Bioinformatics. Introduction to Bioinformatics is a pilot program that will be run at Amity University in Kolkata. The program is going to be dedicated to the introduction of bioinformatics and we will talk about the applications of data science and biology, biotechnology and healthcare. The program will take place at Amity University Kolkata and will run for three months. This will include 11 workshops that will be followed by a team project. The program will be run by experienced bioinformaticians that have experience both in academia and in industry. Dr. Pratim Chakraborty holds a PhD in bioinformatics, and Dr. Mohit Mazumdar holds a PhD in computational biology and machine learning. Together, they will be working with faculty and students at Amity University, helping understand various types of bioinformatics including processing of next generation sequencing data, application of various analysis tools including machine learning tools, and interpretation. This program will be followed by a project where each faculty member and a group of students will be able to prepare and submit a poster or a finished analysis of a project that they have selected. We will start off by introducing the Omics Logic program. The Omics Logic program includes various tools and resources that are provided in the scope of this pilot. That includes online courses, projects, and data sets that are already uploaded on the T-BioInfo analytical platform. We'll also talk about the expectations and schedule of the training program, including important deadlines. We will talk about big data and bioinformatics. The topics that we will cover include knowledge-driven versus data-driven discovery, examples and various applications in biotechnology, neuroscience, agriculture, cancer biology, immunology, and various industries like defense and healthcare. And we'll talk about the emergence of high-throughput experiments in life sciences, how the central dogma of molecular biology that DNA code transcription of the genes and translation into proteins can be measured in a qualitative and quantitative way. We'll talk about next generation sequencing, how we can use this technology to detect DNA variants and measure RNA expression. Then we will transition to transcriptomics, a section dedicated to gene and isoform expression. In the context of this section, we will talk about the role of pre-processing, various mapping techniques, and quantification of genes and isoforms in a sample. We will then talk about analysis of variants, how we can, how we can use filtering, noise reduction, and normalization techniques to explore large multidimensional data sets more accurately, and summarize what we have found using analysis of variants how we can look at outliers and various techniques so that we can detect groups and trends in the data. In Transcriptomics 3, we will talk about more in-depth gene expression analysis. Using correlation, clustering, and other data mining techniques, we will take a look at analysis of genes and samples based on those genes. Then we will talk a little bit more about metagenomics. The microbiome is a hot topic and we will talk about the reason and the uh, significance of metagenomics, including how next generation sequencing of 16S hypervariable region helps us understand the composition of the microbiome and the taxonomy of bacteria found in a specific sample. We'll also talk about the significance of the gut microbiota for human health. In Metagenomics 1, we will discuss the various research areas and topics in metagenomics, how to practically build a metagenomics analysis pipeline, and various methods that are used for interpretation, visualization, and analysis of results. In the Introduction to Machine Learning section, we will talk about various supervised and unsupervised machine learning methods. We will talk about regression, factors, and features, and we will talk about various challenges associated with different types of methods. In Machine Learning 1, we will learn about decision trees, discriminant analysis, and support vector machines. We will use feature selection, and then talk about how do we expand the number of features that we want to include in our analysis. We will then talk about dimensionality reduction, and various data visualization techniques.
Finally, we will come to a stage where we will transition from the theoretical learning to the practical application of acquired skills to an independent project. Here we will talk about identification of correct data sets for a bioinformatics project, various inputs and outputs, and how can that help us plan the team project as we embark on this analysis journey. A significant time will be allocated for team projects, and throughout we will meet and discuss the selection and preparing the various project components. We will hold Q&A sessions with students and faculty, and then transition to poster preparation guidelines. The hands-on sessions will be conducted online and offline and will be led by Dr. Pratim Chakraborty and Mohit Mazumdar. Throughout the program, each student will have access to our online learning platform that contains courses, project examples, and also helps monitor progression so that each person can look at their progress, the various courses that they have completed, and the points that they have accumulated in the process of doing various tasks associated with these courses. Even though the topics we've covered might sound technical and complicated, you do not need to worry. We have a full interactive online platform that anyone with even the most basic computer skills can use. That means that complex bioinformatics methods running computationally intensive pipelines and visualization of results can all be done in a simple point and click interface. For those that have followed the program and have completed the necessary materials, a certificate of participation will be offered. We hope that you will join us for this exciting course in Introduction to Bioinformatics. We are excited to work with Amity University Kolkata to introduce bioinformatics to a wide range of students and faculty and see how together we can develop impactful projects that will help understand the applications of bioinformatics to various domains, including healthcare, biotechnology, biochemistry, and their applications in agriculture, neuroscience, oncology, and immunology.